You're probably wondering what on earth I'm doing today. Sometimes I wonder myself. But I always collect or get a load of little square bales every year. This is from Kenny Cool, the contractor. Which does nice stuff. And um, it's very handy lambing time to have a few and also the weather gets bad, you can get out with a tractor, you can always feed them. <coughs> and like all farmers, <coughs> you never know when you may need some extra hay because the weather has turned bad in the season. We couldn't get it done or whatever. So I always buy it a little bit. <coughs> 140 bales. Here, which will do nicely. Put them on a pallet and get wet and rotten. Start feeding them towards the latter part of February or March, depending on the weather. So, a little trailer holds 28 bales. So, 28 bales. Um, 140 is, I think, five trips. Probably cost me more than fuel this year than anything else. But I'm still glad I'm able to do it. I'm still able to stack them. It was on the father's farm when he was farming, or when we were farming. We do five or six thousand of these every year. He would bail them. Sometimes he'd help me, sometimes I'd stack them. Stack them in the field in eight, so we'd move them once from the baler into, some, we got a sled eventually, which put them what they called in eight. And we used to stack them up individually in little stacks of eight. Leave them out for a few weeks to um, season, if they were baled a bit fresh. If not, Get them in as soon as we could. Panic. People always panic about hay getting wet, but my dad used to say hay doesn't get made unless it gets a bit of rain on it. And this is lovely sheep hay. It's um, probably not the best for milk and cows, but it's very good for sheep because it's fine and they like it. And they'll live quite happily on this through the winter. But extra cake when lambing comes around. As I said, we used to do five or six thousand a year. And after we stacked them in the field, we put them on a trailer, take that into the haggard, stack them in the barn again. In winter time, we take them back out. Do it this year, they, nowadays, people think you've lost the plot. But I like the, the hands on the doing the job like this. That keeps me a bit more active, keeps the old heart pumping. Said so bales this year, depending on how big they are and the size of them and so forth between three and four quid I reckon each. It would be cheaper to buy big round bells really. But then I've no facility to really handle them properly. And the sheep tend to waste them when they actually don't get them eaten. So as I said, these are ideal for me, not too heavy. Smells of beautiful, sweet. They usually get down as some store of Kenny's brother. Just as a precaution. And then we'll uh, ready to go, as they say, for the winter. Cutting down the sheep a bit this year, though. I did get COVID last year, right in the middle of lambing. Uh, not me for six, really. Three or four days wouldn't be too bad if I hadn't had to do the sheep. I got over it quite quickly, but 
actually having to do something when you don't feel like doing it. It's not that nice a task. We're actually working the flock of sheep towards a full flock of what's called Exolanas. So you shoot my world up here. No shearing, no feet, they don't get stuck on their back. They lamb themselves. I lambed one last year, I have 90 sheep. It's too bad and she may have done it herself. Lambs grow quick enough. So these these nice fluffy lambs you saw a few months ago in the springtime. These are all males. They'll have to go shortly to uh, pay for their keep. As much as I like to keep them. It's not a charity I run. They have to be um, self financing I'm afraid. So they don't get stuck in anything. Briars or wire. The wool comes out. The only negative is of course when you've got to catch one. The wool comes out before you've got it. But I wouldn't go back to the conventional sheep because the um, the wool is worth less than the cost to clip it. Which is ironical really because when I was young it was a long time ago we had 150 sheep in the farm and uh, in the 70s the wool sheared off the sheep paid a farm rent so it was a very good income source nowadays I don't know even whether you'll get your money back for shearing in fact some farmers are telling me they haven't been paid for last year's wool which is a really a bit of a fast when farming is on such a knife edge as they say there'll be some casualties this year I think no matter what people say I know sometimes farmers are bad to cry wolf but inflation is going way way ahead of itself so who knows what the future is going to bring I do worry about the kids of the day though. The future does not look good for them in this world. But then I suppose it was always that way, wasn't it? I remember when we had him inflation running at 20% and interest rates at 15%. It didn't make your eyes water. Lots of farms went bankrupt in those days. Wasn't the time to be borrowing anyway. Anyway, that's another job done for today. This little patch in the corner we'll do for the store. They move a lot, as it did for me last year. I lost two the load. I was too scared to go back from. So I know I where they ended up. So, that's a little bit of my world this morning. Um, hope you enjoyed it.